Hi everybody, this is Dr. Eric Westman on behalf of Adapt Your Life, and I'm speaking to you from Seattle. Let me show you outside the window. You can see the Olympic Peninsula. Just gorgeous. I'm in Seattle because we just got off the low carb cruise. I want to uh, just say how wonderful it was to see people sharing their stories. Uh, I meet so many people who tell me how the low carb or keto approach has helped them so much. Um, and it's a great way to, for me to meet people and then to give lectures and share my information. Um, so let me just go through um, some of the highlights of the low carb cruise. It was the first cruise that went from uh, not in the Caribbean, so it went from Seattle to Alaska, and just the, of course, the scenic beauty uh, of Alaska is um, amazing. First time I'd ever been there, and I'll definitely be back. Um, although I'm also looking forward to the Caribbean part of the cruise uh, next year. It's planned out of uh, Galveston, so look forward to that. Um, of course, my ADAPT team was in Austin, Texas at this time, at Paleo FX, rolling out a new brand of bars, so check out the protein bars. Um, hey Nuno, hey Glenn. Um, so the didactic or the teaching portion of the cruise, there were some great lectures. Of course, Jimmy Moore started it out talking about the latest in the keto and fasting, and Dave Feldman is an engineer who started checking his own blood cholesterol levels. He gave a talk on about how you can actually lower your cholesterol levels by eating more fat in the diet for three to five days before getting the blood work checked. It's just pretty amazing. He, he's looking for scientists actually to help him write up the information that he's collected. Um, and then Dr. Aronica, who's a, a PhD scientist at Stanford, gave a talk on personalizing the low-carb plan, and they're looking at the genetics and epigenetics of different diets there. Uh, she's working with Christopher Gardner, who's done some really great work, including low-carb diets uh, there at Stanford. Uh, Valerie Goldstein was on the cruise. She's a, a former Atkins Center uh, worker who I met years ago, and uh, she gave a talk about motivating people to change the diet and, and what to do about it. It was great to see her. Um, then Hannah Bothias gave a talk. She's the uh, uh, woman who teaches people about type 1 diabetes from Switzerland, um, and she's also putting on the low-carb universe in Mallorca in November, and I'm going to be a speaker there as well. Um, she talked about becoming an empowered patient, and actually it, it was really interesting to hear her talk about really you, that you are in charge of your healthcare team and that you get to choose people to be on your team. Uh, like being an elite athlete, finding a, a trainer, you're not just going to go with any any person. So that was a really inspiring talk um, as well. Incidentally, these all were, were videoed and will be available over time through Jimmy Moore's Live in La Vida Low Carb. Um, then uh, Melanie Miller spoke about how to launch a low carb revolution. So she works with the other company I'm involved in, the Heal Clinics, and gave an empowering speech on how she started a low-carb support group, which led to groups and then big meetings in West Virginia. Uh, and then it was a great pleasure to have one of my teachers on board, Steve Finney, came along. And uh, if you're in the low-carb world, you'll know that name. Steve is just phenomenally knowledgeable, and he gave a talk about the science, an update on the science, um, showing the safety and the usefulness of nutritional ketosis. Um, you know, I'm still on the first day of the three-day seminars. Um, then, uh, interestingly, we had a podiatrist talk about feet, and that was really interesting, actually. Um, didn't have a whole lot to do with low-carb, except if you had diabetes, to be careful about feet. Uh, but that was informative just for general education. Uh, then Maria Emmerich, uh, who is a keto book author and cookbook author, uh, gave a talk about common weight loss mistakes, um, which was very nice. Um, uh, of course, Maria is also helping people uh, figure out how to do this for families. 
and uh, encourage you to check out those books that she's written too. So that was the end of the first seminar day, if you can imagine. Um, then we had a day of cruising, which is phenomenal beauty of, um, I mean, it's like you're in the Alps and you're on the water at the same time with the, the mountains and the snow-capped peaks. Um, the following day, a lot of people went to a whale watching excursion. Um, we ended up at a, uh, the first gold mine for the gold rush in Alaska. And then we were back on the seminar again. Um, I led off with a talk about commercializing low-carb, high-fat diets. Talked about all of the trends, including new companies and new products that show that there's change occurring um, and that you know, now is the time to start commercializing it. Erin um, Kay spoke. She is a physician assistant, a physician assistant who works with Jeff Gerber in Denver. She talked about the, the microbiome and the gut, um, all the information that's coming out of there. Um, Dr. Ann Childers spoke about nutrition and mental health, um, and uh, Dr. Adam Nally then, uh, who is the physician in Surprise, Arizona, uh, low testosterone and how to fix it with fat. Of course, all of the men ears perked up on that one. Um, and Dr. Philip Blair finally uh, ended that seminar day with a tribute to the late Dr. Duane Graveline, who was one of the pioneering doctors to bring attention to the side effects of statin drugs. Um, so that was the end of the second day of the seminar. Uh, oh well, and then at no, if you could have signed up for an evening question and answer period with Dr. Finney in a breakout group, and I heard through people who went there that it was just fantastic. It was really like two hours of just asking the world's expert on low-carb keto diets anything you wanted. Um, day six, the seminar start, started again with one of my teachers and the, nu the nutrition and protocol director at Heal Clinics, Jackie Eberstein. Uh, Jackie is the nurse that worked with Dr. Atkins for about 30 years, and she's um, back in the game teaching, And but now we have her teaching the teachers uh, at the heel clinics and developing those protocols. The next lecture was Amber O'Hearn, who talked about my carnivorous keto diet and doing a, a variant on low-carb and keto where you would really not have much vegetable at all. And uh, she actually made the case that plants are unnecessary and may even cause harm. So that was a pretty eye-opening lecture, kind of the first time I'm thinking in that direction. Don't know quite what to conclude yet. Uh, Jimmy Moore and Adam Nally then did a Keto Live hour, and then the last afternoon was really just question and answers of all of the speakers who had uh, given talks throughout the, the cruise. And uh, the line of people lining up to give or to ask their questions was really great. You know, 15 to 20 people asking questions of the speakers um, that they had already heard. Um, we ended up on the, back on the cruise in Victoria, British Columbia, and I had a chance to go out whale watching, which was fantastic. Um, it was a beautiful sunny day in Victoria. A lot of other people took a bus over to the gardens there. Um, just a lot to do. Uh, when the lectures were not going on as well. Um, of course, the low-carb cruise wouldn't be the same without Jimmy Moore and Tom Naughton on the karaoke stage, and so we had a lot of, and they roped me in on a few uh, highlights for me. It was Ann Childers did a song as well. Um, so, uh, oh, and then there were some other people who joined in, just, you know, jumping on the stage at the end as well. Um, so that's the um, highlights, really just the, um, uh, you know, it's a kind of summary of the low-carb cruise. Um, maybe you can see, see it there. It was um, Alaska 2017. Um, just a great, great time. Again, I'm here in Seattle, sort of uh, just relaxing after getting off the boat this morning. And... Um, Great to hello everybody who are uh, chiming in there. Um, again, one more view out the window to uh, the Olympic Peninsula with the snow-capped peaks. And just to again uh, mention that the ADAPT team was at Paleo FX, rolling out the new protein ADAPT bars. Um, and please check them out at adaptyourlife.com. 
a uh, couple comments. Uh, no, I would say a couple dozen comments from people on the cruise about how they, they love the products. Uh, one uh, gentleman told me that he loves the cereal, has it every morning, um, and you know just uh, how important the products have been to keep them on the low carb lifestyle. Um, so that's been thrilling for me to be involved with the team in South Africa, Glenn and Yale. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, hey, Jackie, um, Jack Shoemaker is on. Uh, Hannah, hello, Hannah. Um, and uh, just to, um, hello again from the end of the Low Carb Cruise 2017 here at Pike Place Market in Seattle. Have a wonderful day, and uh, hope to see you soon again on the Adapt Live uh, Live Friday. Take care.